Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Sting, right here, and today I have a cool little review for you. I am doing a review on the Xbox 360 controller. I know the Xbox One is out and stuff, but I don't have that right now at the moment. So, yeah. I'm just going to do a review on the Xbox 360 controller. So, here's the controller. It's pretty cool. If you can see, it's right there. Then flip it around. It has these little buttons there. The buttons look all cool. It has, um whatever the big button in the middle and let's look on the side here's the side um here's the joysticks pew, 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 pew. Oh, let me show you a good angle of the joysticks all uh, right here see and then it has the bumpers that you can click then down here is the um battery right here not this top part up here but down here so it's Here's the battery. See, I'm using a rechargeable one right now. One right now. Um, normally, it would take two triple A's. I mean, double A's, not triple A's, to fill it up. So this is a rechargeable battery. So here's the battery pack. It's pretty cool. Um, yeah. And move. Okay. So let's get into the real features of it. Okay. So here is the power button. So you press that in. Just kind of hold it for like two seconds and it turns on the Xbox and then yeah it's pretty cool um down here are the two joysticks so when you hold it it's like this one joystick uh, one joystick is up here and the other one's right here so those are pretty nice and they're pretty comfy they have um pretty good grip the rubber you can see and then here's the d-pad right here so you go like left or right I mean whatever so you can use that kind of sticks up a little bit I kind of don't really like how it like sticks all the way up but you know it's okay so yeah let's get on with the buttons so here's the buttons you got A X Y and B so A X Y and B B Y X A A B Y X whatever however you say it um they're pretty cool the letters are kind of like floating in there as you can see or like in there floating. See them right there. My camera just focused. And then right here is the two buttons. Here's the start button. I can't really read it, but it says start up there. Click that. So start button. Then here's the back button. So you click back and start. And then the controller. It, you can't really see it, but it says one, two, two three and four and all that kind of stuff so in this okay so let me try it on real quick see right now it's turning on um uh, don't know why it's not working well my xbox isn't turning on hold on just a second turn on xbox turn on i don't know maybe i didn't sync it or something i'm not sure why it's not working don't know why my xbox isn't turning on but yeah, so it lights up like this. Um, you can see it's flashing. One of those rings would flash. So like if you were the first player, just one ring would just be solid one color. So that's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, here it is again. So yeah, um, it's a really good fit. I, I actually like the positions of the controllers. The one thing I don't like is how the D-pad is kind of like up here. I, I would like if it was stuck down like on the Xbox One controller. But yeah, if I if I get the Xbox One, I'll do a review on the Xbox One controller. So yeah, it's pretty nice. Um, you can click down, click. Okay. So yeah, and uh, what haven't I gonna? Oh yeah, here's the triggers which I already showed you. Then the bumpers, they're pretty nice. It's L B L B L T R B R T. Yeah. Okay. And here's where your headphone or microphone thing would plug in, would plug in right in there. Then, of course, your battery pack, right here, which I already pulled off in the very beginning of the video. I got rechargeables. Um, and then, like, here's the screws and stuff. I like the design of the controller. One thing I kind of don't like that much is how this is kind of, like, sticking out. Which is another thing that they actually fixed in the Xbox One controller. So, yeah, um, that's pretty nice. Uh, nice fit. Flexible. I don't, I don't know why I just said flexible. It's not flexible. You can't go. Okay. Right. So yeah, it's a nice fit. Um, it's very comfortable. 
for long gaming, so you can be on this thing for like hours and just go. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, I want to break it. So yeah, it's on. I don't know why my Xbox should be turning on right now, but I guess I didn't sync it or something. I don't know. Um. Okay, so I think that's going to end today's review on the Xbox 360 controller. If you want more Xbox um, reviews on other Xbox things, maybe the Xbox um, 360 itself, although I wouldn't be able to like take my Xbox and go right here, but I would just be able to talk about it and I'll show the controller. Uh, and other Xbox accessories such as headsets, which I did a review on a headset over there, but I can take a different headset because I have a different headset, and I can use that for an review, a review. So thanks for watching my Xbox 360 controller review. Don't forget to subscribe for more reviews, and I'll see you guys later. I'm Stingray. Peace. Click that subscribe button. Bum-ba-da-bum-ba-da-ba. Xbox.